Hello again everyone, it is The Black Knight and it is November 22nd, 2016 and you know what day that is? That's right. It's Yuga Day. Yuga Classic Day to be precise. And there she is in all her glory. The Vapid Yuga Classic. 195000 dollars for an old van. But don't think of it as an old van. No, no, you don't have to think of it as an old van. No, 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 no. Think of it as a canvas. Because that is what we have here, people. We have a canvas. It doesn't matter what color we pick. So long as we send it here, because we're going to be doing all kinds of things. And they'll confirm delivery soon. Let's see. And let's read the description. Ah, the late 60s, when utility was cool and this thing was affordable. Not affordable now. You could never tell if the back contained a hemp-covered den of equality and recreational drug use or a, mo a mobile torture chamber for the village psycho. Or both. And that's a tradition we're proud to maintain. That's just really great. So, what we have here... Again, as I said, it's a canvas. This is a, a show car is what it's going to be. There's tremendous amounts of customization as people. That's like the, the new tag word in the, the GTA community is customization. How much customization does it have? How much can you customize it? Let's see, should we wait? Or should we go down and wait till it gets delivered and then go down? Or should we watch it materialize in front of us? I can't wait. Let's go down. Now. So, this morning I was all excited. I checked on Brophy 1322 page, and sure enough, oh hey, look at that, like magic. Sure enough, he had tested this fine vehicle against the lap times of the other vans on his circuit, and sure enough, it's as slow as any of them. It is not a fast van. So this is not something you're going to be racing with. Not, not a bad kind of look right there. It's the lizard van, that kind of thing. So we're going to hop inside. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is this is supposed to be a 60s van. Um, yeah, that's that. No, this is not a 60s van with racing bucket seats. No, no, no. Obviously, this has been a carefully restored 60s van. Uh, with just a little bit of 80s touch there with the CB and the, the, the overall interior squared off plastic. Yes, what we have here is a carefully crafted custom show van. That's why it's $200,000. That's the whole deal there. And it certainly isn't because it's quick. That's all she's got. I mean, this is it. I mean, this is foot to the floor. I don't even know what that woman said. But we're going to come here to Los Santos Customs. And make this man rich. Well, not that we don't normally anyway, but... What brings you in today? No! Here it's a bravado, Yuga Classic. Vapid, bravado, doesn't really matter. It's, it's a van. So we're here. Now the main thing with this this van is the livery, okay? This is none. Now we can simply put a simple stripe on that for $13,000. By the way, these are all on a special discount today and for, perhaps for a, you know, whatever however long they're running specials this week. Got the orange retro, which looks just great with the whole lizard page up. Blue retro. Black slash stripe there. Now the red slash stripe is great if you want to do the bottom black, do the, the green part here is a gray, and then just trigger Gen Xers like myself with the Mandela effect for how the A-Team van isn't supposed to look. Then you got the, the, the red hot summer, which is just, that's just a cool look to it. Then you got the sausage box. And we're actually going to, the sausage box is probably, that's just Chihuahua hot dogs. There are actual Chihuahua hot dogs places here. Try beating our meat. There you go. Dog eat dog world. Sausage farming since 82. There you go. 
making me hungry for hot dogs, right? As we're talking right now. We're going to skip past Surf's Up for a moment. Then we're going to look at the rusted out variants. That's right. If you want this to look like a really rusted, beat up old van with a brand new interior, that's perfectly normal. That's that's exactly what uh, you've got here. And then we're back to the to the top. But the main the main thing people are looking for here is the Surf's Up variant. Yes, that's right. Now some of you may be too young to even know where I'm going with this. Some of you are, know immediately. Yes, folks, this is the Scooby Doo van, the Mystery Machine. It is. The one. Of course, they couldn't make it so that everything matches up exactly. Watch this. We got Surf's Up. And we got the respray. Because you don't even want to worry about performance stuff with this. I mean, this is just... Let's see. Primary color. Let's go. You always, I always like to go metallic. Because then you can give it a pearlescent. So there's your primary color. So in theory, you'd want to match this up with either the green or the blue. So they all match together. And let's get down to a greens or blues. I'm going a little slowly so you can get an idea of the options. Blaze red, drain da, da, da. sunset red, candy red, sunset orange. We may come back to that. We'll see. Orange, no, definitely sunset. We'll come back to that. Get your race yellow. That doesn't work. No. Dark green, of course not. Racing green. Sea green kind of like would match with the whole thing, but of course, that's coarsely. Of course, that's not the mystery machine. Olive green, bright green, gasoline green is pretty close, but not. It really isn't. That's like you know, fudging it. Well, I had a couple of cans of this that was close. That's your gasoline green. Midnight blue, galaxy blue. No, let's see. Saxon blue? No. Anybody having like flashbacks to when I did this with the Mirthmobile? Yeah, it's the same kind of thing. They don't want to give you the right blue. It's just, I don't know why. Harbor blue, of course not. Diamond blue? No. Surf blue. You'd think surf blue would match. Not exactly. It might even be a lighter shade of the surf. And if you want to go this route, if you want to go classic... You go, you know, classic mystery machine without having to go through and create a crew color, which is another option. If you go crew, then you can make it whatever color you want and match the two of them. You know, ultra blue, no. Light blues, yeah, no. Dowered out of the brown. So, okay, so we're, we're, we're done here. There, you can't match it up. Are there any really wild, could you match up the greens maybe? No, I think we went through the greens. Purple, there you go, purple works. Cream, ice white, frost white. Oh, here we go. Dew yellow. Which, I have to clear one more stunt jump and then I'll get dew yellow. And that isn't really right either. Again, that's another one you could take here. Because if you recall, the mystery machine was kind of blue around here. It had a, it had a, a, a green sort of thing going here. A little panel with the mystery machine in orange and then f mystery machine flowers. I think, and lime, no, no, lime's too dark, naturally, and that's not, so I think for mine, because first of all, the other thing you're dealing with is, you know how many of them are going to look like this? How many mystery machines are going to be cruising around like this? Hey, it's my mystery machine. No, no, we're going to, we're going to go with something a little different. I, I, I don't know whether I want, I think I want to go with, do we want to go dark blue? No. Galaxy blue. There was like a dark mariner blue, but I'm thinking of using that for the roof. Racing green, dark green, race yellow. Now sunrise orange, that kind of matches what the wheels are going to be and what the, the flowers were on the sides. It's a fitting color for this ride. I think we're going to go with it just to be different. And then we're going to back out. We're going to go in pearlescent. Plessify it. Let's see, we still can't do lime green pearlescence. But we can do blue pearlescence, which I think might work. Use an ultra blue pearlescence. That almost works right there, but we're going to change the top color anyway. Since it seems to pearlesce everything, let's wait on that. Let's go to 
You know what? Let's back out and do a couple body mods here so we see what we're changing. Uh, do we want the sunshade? Yeah, of course you want the sunshade. It's a classic, you know, modded kind of thing. Uh, let's see. That's the roof. Any other body mods? Engine. Oh, that's just engine performance. Armor, brakes, chassis, engine. Chassis. Stock chassis. Side steps. Well, I know that, you know, the mystery machine, I don't think, had side steps, but our mystery machine is going to have side steps. We're going to take liberties here. Double exhaust it. There you go. Let's have re a really hot side step. You yeah, want one that will burn your feet when you get in. That's that's what you want. Explosives, lights. I'm not too worried about the lights. The plate, well, let's black knight this. We'll even, let's see, yellow and black. Yellow, you know, it's a yellow-blue kind of theme. Skirts. Arch extensions. Oh, yeah. Let's give it the arch extensions. Woo! Uh, let's see. Suspension. Tailgate. Now, the spare wheel, my understanding, is actually gives you a performance enhancement, even though it kind of detracts from the look, because as you'll see, the tire doesn't change when you change everything else. But, now, wheels. Wheel type. I'm going to actually take a look at the off-road stock rims. Something that might have a kind of that flowery look to it. I know what I think I'm looking for. Those, that kind of works. The Dune Bashers kind of work. I think we're going to go Dune Bashers. It's good. You're going to be out on the sands. You better have something here. But now... You can go to uh, wheel color. And you find that same sunrise orange. And now you're getting more. Now you see, you're starting to feel it. You're starting to feel it. Tires. Let's see. Tire design. We can have. Oh, there you go. Beautiful. That's just great. Tire enhancements. Oh, yeah, you need bulletproof tires. Best tires on the market. Tire smoke. Is this even going to smoke the tires? Let's see if it's Snokes. No I'm thinking about Star Wars. Let's see if we uh, if we can even smoke the tires before we uh, we do anything with that. The windows. I don't know. What, now we have to get back to the respray. I think we've done as much... Ooh, suspension. Slam it. Careful of potholes. You think? But that definitely enhances the look. It's, it takes away a little bit of the mystery machininess because, I mean, the, the mystery machine was a really high up kind of thing. You know, that definitely is more mystery machine, but we're going to leave it slammed just because we can. Hey, listen, we paid $200,000 for this plus now, so we might as well make it look the part of something expensive. Now, secondary color go to the metallics. Aha! So the tertiary, tertiary, tertiary seems to only be this little sun guard, which is kind of nice. Now, with the separation between the colors here, I almost feel like we can get away with some of those kind of not quite blues. You know, it's gasoline green. That no, still looks like crap. Okay. Blue dark blue. Is there like a like a dark sea green? Is what I'm looking for. Here's a sea green. That looks terrible. Okay, so we, we don't want it to, live to look terrible. Let's go to surf blue. Surf blue just looks too light to me, you know, boy. Nautical blue. No. I don't think blue's gonna I don't, I don't think blue's gonna cut it. Ultra blue. Light blue. What's my crew blue? There's my crew blue. Which is not quite matching either. That's the, the official base blue. Okay, what do you think? Oh, look at that. The whole bottom changes. Um, yeah, I don't know that we want that. Okay, we, we don't necessarily want that. What's happening to the bottom? It's not... The, the, the chrome only overrides the livery if it's a... Uh, 
It's the only one. The other one's fine. Okay, well let's uh, let's, let's stick with this. What do you think? Wine red? No. Hmm. Midnight blue on top of the whole thing. That might work. It's a plain dark blue. Saxon blue kind of works. Blue. Mariner blue, harbor blue, diamond blue. Hmm. Let's do surf blue for right now. Or you know what? What if? This is going to seem a little bit out there. We do black. Okay. And then pearlescent. Well, everything else will pearlescent with the main pearlescent. Let's go with the tertiary color here. And we'll pick that up. That's got to be some kind of lime color, don't you think? Or maybe that could be uh, surf blue. I think that works there. And now we have to go to... Let's definitely put the crew emblem. Where does the crew emblem go? I don't see it. Come on, where does the Yuku guy? It must be under a, a livery or something like that. It must be like here. Okay, well, let's not spend money on a... For some reason, that's locked out. Failed to... A... Okay, so something's not working there. That's bizarre. Let's go to respray. Primary color. Perlicify it. See, now there's a sunrise orange. See, that kind of... There's a pathway here. See, now... Let's find... Sea green. That kind of works. Galaxy blue. We give it a... Now, you've got a surf blue kind of look to it. You know, I'm almost thinking lose the sunrise orange and make the whole thing do that black with the same uh, secondary color. Let's just see how it would look. Uh, second, we need primary, right? I think I think that's blowing the pearlescent there, because yeah, the glow, the blue glow kind of went away. That's not bad though either. Pearlescent, let's get that back. I'm blowing some money going back and forth here. I know. You can always change it, but I mean, you know, that's... Let's see how this thing looks. Now, I think all things considered, that's better than... Uh, it kind of brings out the graphics a little bit. Yeah, it's a different take on it all together. And yes, it's still ridiculously slow, but this is... This is, uh, you know... Not a performance vehicle, anyway. How much faster are we going to make it? I don't know. Uh, here we go. Get this back. Now I was debating getting two of these. Oh, what? Hey, I'll 
say it again. Yeah, yeah, I know. You'll say it again. So at least we've got the whole look going here. We got the car. I guess this is would be a Black Knight kind of uh, mystery machine, wouldn't it? Uh, let's see. It should. Now let's see. If we go vehicles. Vehicle door. We can't. You can't play with the doors inside the garage. Fine. Let's pull it out. Okay, so here we are. Now let's let's change views here. So we're looking at it. My version of the mystery machine. I think we, we need to mix it up on the mystery machines. There could be a lot of them around. And let's see, vehicle access, vehicle doors. Let's do all. So, that's first of all, what you notice this slide is supposed to pop and open. That's cool. Got full access to everything here. How's the engine look? How's the engine? Ooh, that's snuggled right in there. That's not too shabby. Oh, excuse me. Looks like there's a lot of room in the back. That's that's very nice. Very nice. So, I mean, this is something you could take to, a, you know, a car show, no problem. And it, it probably looks as cool as, uh, looks as cool as my custom Moonbeam I'll get. I'll bet you. Let's check this out. So, yeah, here you have this. This is my Moonbeam here, okay? And let's do the same thing here. Vehicles. Vehicle doors. Same deal. Pretty much the same kind of look. It almost looks like they used the moonbeam interior here for this. If you really look at it. Is that what they did? Is that just... Oh, it's, it's a similar quality kind of deal. Of course, we've got all the, the hoppity hoppity stuff here in the back. and There does seem to be room in the back of the Yuga Classic for that if they wanted to make it a lowrider. I think, and of course, there you got the much bigger moonbeam engine going on there. But I think if you if you didn't want to spend like what what did this cost me? A million dollars? A million and a half? It was something ridiculous. If you don't want to, to spend that much money, I mean, you know, let's get back in here and let's uh, let's drive it down to. Oh, at least. Not the best handling, but it does have a lot more pickup, I'll, I'll say that. In a race, you definitely want the Moonbeam versus this. Still probably not as fast as one of the top, you know, the, uh, the, the Gang Burrito or the, the Bumpo Custom there. Not too many people race in vans nowadays. But if you want to be able to show up at, like, you know, virtual car shows, for less than half a million dollars. I think this would be fine. Still not sure I shouldn't have gone orange with the, the pearlescent or if I should have gone... Yeah, there's lots of ways to play with that. So you may see this in a different look in the future. But for right now, this is your Black Knight. Happy Yuga Day, everybody. But for right now, this is your Black Knight. With my wings. If someone interrupted me, hey. Hey, yo. I done told you losing that kind of weight just ain't gonna happen for me, okay? Okay, well, back to where we were. It's my life, and I love them all. The, stop it! Just walk away, walk away. Should I silence her? Silence or constant talking? No, we'll, we'll, we'll be nice. That's not what Shaggy would do. Shaggy would just go get a sandwich. And on this note, look at that. I didn't shoot her. 2,000 for good behavior. Keep it up.